Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Parker's Tutorials. Now on this show we built many sci-fi props such as the lightsaber, the ray gun, and today I'm bringing you a prop from an awesome TV show called Doctor Who. And that would be the 10th Doctor's sonic screwdriver. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need for this project. A Dremel, a small tap light, a hot glue gun, a highlighter, another highlighter, a half inch metal tube, a small LED flashlight, a blue see-through marble, a soldering iron and some solder, plumber's epoxy, two random Lego wheels, black spray paint, and white and black acrylic paint. Now before we start this project, I want to tell everyone that this is a very time-consuming, labor-intensive project and you may not be able to follow directions exactly. As if you can keep up, great. I try to make the tutorial as easy as possible, but if you have any questions, feel free to message me on YouTube and I'll be happy to answer. The first step in this project is to cut your metal tube to about four inches. Next, I inserted my highlighter and decided where I wanted the cuts in the metal pipe to be. I marked the metal pipe with pen and used my Dremel to cut a slit about a quarter of an inch wide. I took my tap light apart and removed the push button switch from it. It was a little less than one quarter inch, perfect for my cut in the metal tube. I wired two wires to the switch, red and black wires. One ran out the front and one ran out the back. The highlighter was inserted and I added the switch. It slid back and forth like so. I then added a ring of plastic to the end like this. Next, I glued a Lego wheel and a highlighter cap to the top of the screwdriver. I had to drill a hole in the cap so the wires could go all the way through the top. Next, I trimmed the wires and soldered a white LED light in the center of the Lego wheel, then glued a blue marble on top, like shown. So the next step I actually forgot to film. My bad. But what I did was I took plumber's epoxy and wrapped it around the wires. Once that was dry, I cut four thin strips plastic and carefully glued them to the top, like shown. I added another wheel at the bottom and a black plastic piece I found, and then painted the top silver, the body a light yellowish gray color, and the bottom remained black. And you're done. Remember, if you have any questions about this week's build, please message me on YouTube asking me any questions you may have. This is the place where the test film would usually be. However, I asked you guys on Facebook whether or not you wanted me to put up the episode without a test film or wait another week and have me put it up with the test film. And by looking at the results, a majority of people wanted the, wanted the video up now, which is why it's up now. I know I've been slacking on test films and I apologize to everyone. Um, I'll try to have another one. I'm in the process of producing a short film it's about a, it's a horror flick, so I'm working very hard on that. But I will try to have a test film in next week's episode, so tune in for that. And by the way, when I asked you guys vote on that BBM challenge thing, we won challenge one. So that's one challenge down, three to go. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's episode. Enjoy your sonic screwdriver, and I'll see you next week. I've got to go back to my TARDIS. Bye.